this is the house right here outside of the house and you can see it's that the, that small 0.23 acre lot um, this is a little side street there's the main Belton Highway right there but this is a church so you sit right in front of a church street here the house directly beside the home which is right there it looks really cute from the outside this home is a vacant home um, I don't know what's going to come of this home but you can see that it's in you know pretty bad condition so I don't know what will ever happen to this home that's sitting right beside it but it is vacant this is a street that you can see here and that's Melanie my partner <laughs> but this is a street on this side seems fairly quiet but this is what's going to be directly beside you on that house right there um, we'll come up through here and directly beside you is an empty lot on the other side so I don't know what will come of that either um, I can try to see who owns the lot beside it and but you just never know I don't know exactly where the lines go exactly but I can try to take a look but it looks like you got a pretty decent size 0.23 acre lot um, kind of goes that's a uh, pizza then some I don't know if you know pizza then some it's kind of like the little side street behind it okay let's go in and take a look this will give you an idea at least to see if you still want to take a look at this one before you mark it off your list it's got a pretty decent size porch this house is over 50 years old but they have remodeled it um, walk inside it's got the all new flooring this here would be your living room and kitchen combo so you got a really huge kitchen here lots of space huge island so looking at this you would have to more likely set if you wanted a kitchen table set one up around here but this would have to be your living room space as well is what i'm assuming right when i'm first walking in um so you'll have to put probably a fridge over there maybe you can put you some bar stools and just have that as a table instead and have this open space here but you can put a table here but then you're gonna have to have a couch and a TV somewhere. So it is kind of an awkward layout here. Um, bedroom, carpeted with a closet right when you first come in. It's a pretty decent size. Ceilings are high in this um, home. Hallway. This here is the laundry room, which I get the lighting on. Laundry room off of the hallway right here looks like a decent size um, with your hot water heater in there as well. Continue to go down. Here's bedroom number two. Decent size with a closet. Um, hall bathroom. Here's your hall bathroom. Um, you got a sink, little open space shower tub combo you will have to open up this door to get to your toilet right there so it's a smaller size bathroom but it's workable um, then this would be your main room I'm assuming your main bedroom yes and it's a little smaller than what a main bedroom would be but I mean it's not terribly small I mean you got a nice size closet there and then in the bathroom off of here off of the bedroom shower tub combo 
double sinks, toilet. Okay. So this one does feel 1,600 square feet. This does feel that way. Only thing I see here is an awkwardness in the living room. You might use this as a living room space, but if you're wanting a kitchen table, that's going to hinder because I would probably more or less use that as your living room space, putting your TV somewhere, along with your couch. Maybe you can put a table over here in the first entrance way as you come in could possibly, but it is a nice big open space, as you can see. Um, and it does have a back area here. Got your new appliances. Um, small pantry. Back area here. It's got a pretty backsplash, but here this is a yard in the back. There's a deck, brand new deck that they placed on here. And this is the yard. And you can see where the pink, I'm thinking that's probably a property line where you're seeing that. So it's a pretty decent size yard. You have enough room here on the size if you wanted to put maybe one of those little um, um garage park unders but you do have this next to you which is a vacant home and i don't know what's going to come of that all right this gives you an idea